Gerbils are very active and have an extremely high natural heart rate. When you couple this with the potential onset of blood clots, spasms, blockages, etc., a heart attack can be the end result. There are many factors that can cause the blood supply of your gerbil's heart tissue to stop or be disrupted. In this material, we will briefly discuss the causes of heart attacks, the notable symptoms to look for, post-heart attack care, and the overall prognosis of your gerbil. Enjoy the video. We hope you find this content helpful and informative. Compared to other animals, gerbils have very poor circulation. This means they are at a higher risk to experience heart attacks and other health concerns of a similar nature. Research suggests that most gerbils have imperfectly formed blood vessel structure in their brains. This makes it all the more likely that a stroke will occur. Additionally, because these vessels are at risk of becoming blocked or clotted, the odds of a circulatory issue only increase. Obesity can also become a major concern. It is the most well-known cause of heart attacks in gerbils. More weight means more work for the heart, a heart that already pumps at a very rapid rate. Clogged arteries and constant plaque buildup only serve to increase blood pressure and increase the chances of a heart attack. Genetic conditions can also play a negative role. Some gerbils are born with a predisposition for heart attack and heart failure. Heart attacks are fast, and it can be very difficult to spot critical symptoms before it's too late. Additionally, heart attack symptoms can be often confused for signs of other conditions. However, there are basic fundamental changes that you can look for. Being observant in this way could potentially save your gerbil's life. The first critical sign is chest pain. Gerbils feel pain just as we do. Tissue death will result in pain. Symptoms of chest pain can include your gerbil nipping or biting more than usual when you approach or handle it. The next sign is hiding, staying in its burrow and refusing to come out. Another signal is wobbly and or unsteady movement. If your gerbil appears drunk, this could be a sign that blood flow is being disrupted. Although chest pain is not the only present symptom in a heart attack, and in sometimes is not present at all, it's important to be proactive as other symptoms can be present and a bit more obvious. One of the more noticeable signs is shortness of breath. This symptom is more obvious than the potential visual effects of the aforementioned chest pain. If your gerbil is breathing deeper than normal, breathing more frequently, and struggling to breathe altogether, these are symptoms that should not be ignored. If you have multiple gerbils, these breathing symptoms will likely be a bit more obvious as the gerbil in peril will stand out from the bunch. If any of the aforementioned symptoms are present, especially for a lengthy period of time, it is imperative that you take your gerbil to the vet. Providing your vet with as much information as possible is also key. Take notes if you feel so inclined. Write down everything that you've seen that appears to be unnatural. Note behavioral changes, symptom development, etc. Providing a timeline of when everything first began can be of great benefit. While there is no treatment for a heart attack and no way to reverse the effects, the ability to handle your gerbil after the fact is critical, as impaired heart function will affect your gerbil for the rest of its life. Your vet will advise you as to how to help you handle your pet on a day-to-day -day basis moving forward. Because gerbils can be easily triggered by stress, thus causing inflammation in the arteries, providing a calm and relaxing environment for your gerbil is the goal. Here are some tips. Move your gerbil's enclosure to a quiet part of your home, away from TVs and high traffic areas. Separate your ailing gerbil from the bunch if fighting becomes an issue. The last thing anyone needs is for an ailing gerbil to be fighting with an enclosure mate. Do you have other pets? Cats? Dogs? If so, keep them away from your gerbil's cage. This will only increase the stress level. Avoid handling your gerbil too frequently. Don't handle your pet simply for the sake of handling it. Taking things nice and easy and following these tips will allow your gerbil to rest and recover in a stress-free environment. As an added measure, consider covering your gerbil's enclosure with a blanket. This will add more security and provide your pet with added peace and reassurance. Keep an area of the enclosure exposed so adequate sunlight can still peek in. 
as light is critical for positive health. Aside from the peace and stress-free living approach, it's also important to make sure your gerbil is comfortable. Follow these helpful tips. Keep your gerbil's enclosure between 65 and 75 degrees. While this should be a main staple in the first place, it's always good to provide a reminder. Your normal home temperature should be just fine. Our next tip involves giving your pet one tablespoon of food mix per day. This will serve to make sure that your gerbil is receiving quality nutrition each and every day. Not too much, not too little. And finally, staying on the food path, avoid giving your pet too many snacks. Stay with the food mix. It will have everything that your gerbil needs to be satisfied and comfortable. Unfortunately, the prognosis of a gerbil post-heart attack is a case-by-case -case basis. There is no one-size-fits-all answer. It all depends on how much damage has been done to the heart. If the artery cannot be cleared in a timely manner, sudden death is possible during or soon after the heart attack. This is true in humans, and it's also true in gerbils. However, on the positive and more hopeful side, if the damage to your gerbil's heart is minimal and the blockage has been cleared, your gerbil can continue on and live a very content life. As with your own life, it's best to simply maintain a positive attitude and take things one day at a time. And on that note, that will conclude things for this subject matter. We thank you for taking a moment out of your day to watch. We hope that we have been of positive service to you. If you're watching this video on site at gerbilwelfare.com, we invite you to read the detailed written piece on this important subject. If you're currently viewing this video from an outside platform, we invite you to click the initial link in the description box that is available to you. Said link will take you to our article. There you can find even more information on this topic. From all of us here at gerbilwelfare.com, we thank you so much for watching. And until our paths cross again, we hope you have a wonderful day.